Now you've got your basic WordPress website set up, it's time to install a theme. A WordPress theme controls the design of your site and is basically a template. So it provides the colour scheme, the fonts, the layouts and the visual side of your site. This is the website that we set up in the previous lesson and as you can see it's pretty generic and it just has the default theme which comes with WordPress at the moment. The default themes tend to be more suited for blogs than company or corporate websites so I would generally recommend finding one that suits the brand identity that you want to portray from your website. There are several places to find the right theme. First of all I'll show you how to find free themes. To do that, you go into the WordPress admin for your website and go to Appearance Themes. And you can go Add New and you'll see lots of free themes. So there's various ways to filter by them. You can search for particular themes if you've researched and found one you like. And as you can see from these thumbnail images, they're all completely different looking. So you can choose one that looks like how you would want your website to look and there are thousands of themes in there. You can also go on any independent theme company's website and find a theme you like there. And you can go on theme marketplaces. This one is called Theme Forest, which is themeforest.net, and it has many, many thousands of themes. And the ones that you can buy here tend to be more flexible than the free ones. They're more difficult to set up because they have so many options. So you need to choose the right balance between simplicity and flexibility as with anything. Uh, for example, the best selling theme of all time is Avada here, uh, which has got um, hundreds of thousands of users around the world and is super flexible. So you can make it look pretty much however you want to suit your brand look and feel. For this course, though, I'm going to install a free, a free theme called Storefront. So I'll just type that there and I'll show you the preview. I like Storefront because it's really clean, generic and modern looking. And uh, it's typically used for e-commerce websites, but it's not just for e-commerce. I'm going to click install. And once it's installed, you will see an activate button. So you click that. And then we're going to go back to the front end of our website and as you can see it now looks like storefront so it's much more simple you can customize elements such as the fonts the font colors the header color whether or not you've got a sidebar on your page and so on the free team themes tend to have their settings in this customized link up here but your theme might be different so look at the documentation and find out where the options are for controlling your theme and have a tweak until the design of your website is exactly how you want it. And after that, you can return to this course. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at how to add pages to your website, uh, and such as the home page and the about page, and also how to add a navigation menu with links so that people can find their way around your website.